Hello and uh, welcome back. So uh, this is the session three of how to configure SSL. And uh, so far what we have done is we did create a certificate. We actually configured that within the uh, Windows uh, uh, certificate uh, store. And we were also able to find that certificate name under the SQL Server Configuration Manager. And then we configured it in there. Uh, we also so encrypted our connection. If you notice in here, if I run this, one more time, you should be able to see that we do have an encrypted connection. However, we had a problem with our certificates, which was not a part of the uh, trusted root authorities. Uh, so what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go ahead and bring up this uh, certificate uh, store. So if you look in here right now, it says that the certificate is not a part of the trusted root certification authorities. So what we're going to do in here is to fix this issue. Uh, we are going to export this certificate let me click ok we're going to export this certificate within this um, let me expand this for a minute yep right there so what to, we're going to go ahead and export this certificate to this trusted root certification authorities so in order to do that just go ahead and right click on it and go ahead and all task click on export and next and here you have to make sure you click on yes export the private keys this is very important especially if you're exporting the certificate to another machine uh, if you do not export the private keys in here so your certificate may not properly work so uh, make sure you click on yes uh, next uh, this default options in here are okay and then click the password provide the password uh, so this is the password if you're importing this certificate you have to know the password and uh, this is pretty much the key for uh, uh, importing the password the, the certificate if you don't know the password then you cannot actually import it and also make sure you provide here a very strong password in case if somebody especially a hacker access you a copy of your certificate and try to you know install that certificate within his or her machine uh, to read your encrypted data so they shouldn't be able to guess your password so make sure you put a, a strong password or just follow up your organization password policy and you should be fine so here i'm going to go ahead for this demo provide a strong password but very short one and uh, next so here it asks me where i want to export the certificate i provide a path within my machine so i do have a path in here uh, this is the path right there so i just copied it and um, I paste it in here. So here I just have to provide these, the certificate basically imported name. I would say uh, new SQL SSL oops, cert. Okay. So I go ahead and click next. And this is pretty much a summary of what I have gone through the, during this import. Uh, wizard I'm gonna click on finish and it's pretty quick now if I go back to my uh, you know uh, path uh, for the import part I actually see this certificate okay so <clears throat> this is the certificate that has been imported uh, actually exported uh, the next step in here is to import the certificate to the trusted root authority what I'm gonna do in here is I go ahead click on this trusted root certification authorities uh, click on the certificate right click all task now you have the only option in here is to say import so I'm gonna go ahead and import it the local machine option is selected for us so we are good with it so I'm gonna go provide the path where the certificate it actually exists uh, and actually if I go browse in here and provide the path in here so the certificate is in here however since the certificate type is different and it's not showing so you see the certificate type in here or either sir or srt so what i'm going to do in here is i click on all files and then my certificate should pop up in there so go ahead and select it open next and it does ask for your strong password I'm going to type it in here and uh, the rest of options are okay do not click on anything if you don't know actually about how to import and export certificates uh, we have another session on that uh, please go ahead and take a peek on that uh, we talk about all these details um, and uh, they are they're very good uh, for your knowledge okay so uh, let me go ahead and click next 
Okay, so it says, do you want to put them in trusted root certification authorities? And the answer is yes, of course. So next and finish. It's pretty quick. Now my certificate is a part of, if you know in here, if you see it actually in there, a part of now trusted root authority. Okay, so if you remember last time when I clicked on it, I had that red you know kind of uh, icon in there now this certificate is a part of the root author trusted root uh, certification authorities and it is good to go so one thing before we finish this session is to click ok we are good with certificates so far there is nothing we should do about the certificates the only thing in here is we have to go back refresh our connection to the options here we do not need to trust the certificate anymore just because we actually uh, import it to the trusted root authorities okay so in here just go ahead and connect and refresh uh, your uh, you know session and just execute this uh, select a statement and now your encrypt option is again true without having a force the certificate okay so this is all for this session and congratulations we just configure ssl uh, for our sql server so just to recap what we did so far in here is uh, we did created a certificate uh, by using a powershell uh, we also talked about the certificate stores and we did configure the certificate that we created with this PowerShell script uh, in that Windows certificate store. And then we were able to configure the certificate under the SQL Server Configuration Manager. Uh, last step, we did export and import the certificate. And now we check in our connections. We are equal to true. And this tells us that we are having uh, encrypted connection.